Well, today is going to be day one of my series of altered art um, for May. I'm going to be doing three different projects this month, um, a clock, um, a jar um, and um, a large MDF tag, shabby chic. Um, so today is the turn of the clock. Um, and um, let's get on and do it. It's just going to be, um, I've got a, an idea in my head what I'm going to do. So we'll just see how it develops from there. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Okay, so this is, it's just a small MDF clock and it measures actually it's not even six inches it's just over five and three quarter inch square but I am going to do it like a diamond and for 12 3 6 and 9 I'm going to have little butterflies but first thing first first thing what I need to do is I need to paint the back side of it and for this I'm going to be using indigo blues paints out I'm going to be using indigo blues hot cocoa so if I can get it open there we go I've got it open get that on I'm just going to get my mat and um, let's make a start, shall we? Um, right, I know what I'm going to do, what I always do. I'm going to get a scoop and just put it on, get a baby wipe. that in half and don't forget this is going to be the back side of the um, the clock so side and I give that a quick blast with the heat gun and get it dried. Flip it over and I'll put that in my little bin out of the way. Just pop the lid on that for now because I'm not going to need that. Now I've die cut, uh, no I've not die cut at all, on a piece of white card I've embossed wood grain and I'm just going to, it's going to sit on there like that, she says, hopefully. Move my ring across to my middle finger because it keeps twizzing round on my other finger, it's driving me nuts. There we go. That's better. Sorry about that. So, yes. So I'm going to put that on there like that. So, let's get the Mod Podge out. And a brush. Put a good layer of my Mod Podge on. Just pop that to 
one side and I'm just going to give this a good uh, coating as well with much Pudge. it over and then what I'm going to do is get my craft knife if I can find it get my craft knife and uh, would you believe I can't find it you know So that's that done. Just need to tidy up the edge here. So now I'm going to give that a coat of paint and I'm going to use the say don't leave your paintbrushes in the water and what do I do? Leave me paintbrush in the water. Very silly of me. Right. Okay. So I want to I'm just gonna paint this now. Over there for now. Wipe this up. Get 
this dried and then we'll dry brush this and then I'll move on to the next stage. to dry brush now um, some teal over the over the embossed areas and then we'll put a little bit of that on there get a little brush there we go I'm just going to work work the paint into the brush And I'm just going to sweep backwards and forwards. Just so the wood grain pops. I do love this townhouse teal. It's one of my favourite colours. I like all the colours. Depends on what mood of the day, what mood I'm in on that on a particular day. Just with the flat of the brush, I'm just edging, just edging it. Then we'll put this to one side and we'll. These are the butterflies that I've got here and I'm just going to sweep over them. So they've got anything to the teal on them on their wings and that. There we go. So if I lift it up, can you see I've just added a bit of teal and these are going to be my 12, 3, 9 and 6 and 9. So they're then done. Right, okay. So put that back in the pot. Clean my brush. Wipe that up. Okay, so what I've decided to do now is using Tim Holtz um, thinlets, and these are the um, meadow flowers. Well, I call them meadow flowers. I don't think there's... Oh, yeah, the wild flowers, sorry. I'm going to be using these, but... So I've got a piece of uh, watercolour card, and I'm going to be using my Distress Oxides, and I'm going to create... A back, uh, create some nice colours on here. So I'm going to go with... I'm just going to pick random colours. So I've got abandoned coral... A, Peacock feathers. We'll have um, we'll have twisted citron, and I think we'll have. Um, well, 
a squeeze lemonade. I think we'll have to go with them colours. So I'm just going to just do that all over the page and dry each layer off. So that's that. I'll just wipe that off. Oops. And we'll go in with squeeze lemonade. Oxide, a uh, twisted citron. I do like this twisted citron. Just thought we'd have some nice jazzy colours. And peacock feathers. Oops. a lot of peacock feather on. I want to build up my, try and fill up where I've missed. I do love peacock feathers, really do like them. And I'm going to go back over, I'm going to add a bit more of the squeezed lemonade, I think. Gonna add that over the top, just here and there. So that's the background. So now I'm going to cut out a few of these and they're going to go, I'm going to place them round the bottom and then I'm going to add the butterflies, put the clock, um, the clock piece um, in and then we're done. So don't go anywhere, I'll be back in two bins. So there we are, I've cut them out. And I'll keep that card because I'll, I'll use it again. I can cut some more out. So I'll get my pokey tool. And uh, just poke this out if I can get it out. Very gently. There we go. I'm just going to Now I need to find where the centre is, so that's that there. And where's the clock from? Right, okay. Okay, so I know that's the centre, so I want to position them round. So get them all out first and then we'll uh, I'll start gluing them in. There we go. 
Oops. Very gently teasing them out because obviously they're quite, uh, quite delicate. And I've not, I've not used. Uh, I think I've used. hundred and hundred and I think it's 200 200 GSM which is about 110 pound weight so I've done five because I like to work in odd numbers there we go help teasing them out because I don't want to pull them out and um, just in case I, I break them it's always best to take your time like as you can see there you can see that one there that is going to be very gentle so I don't want to pull that out so I'll just use my pokey, pokey tool just to tease tease it out and there we go it's come out so I've got some I'll move it off the so you can see them <coughs> excuse me got a tickle there we go so I've got some really nice wild flowers and I, I've, there we go so let's see I'm going to put I'm not going to put anything at six o'clock so I thought we'll have a um, butterflies at 12 3 and 9 I'm not going to put butterfly and I'm going to just have um, lay these up <coughs> So it's like a nice meadow scene. Have that going up there like that. Right, okay. And I'm going to glue everything down with my glossy accents. There we go, I've got it started now. Got a little tail there that I don't want. start sticking things down and while I'm gluing things down I'll, I'll uh, have some music playing for you so enjoy
the wheel. Nice wildfire. So now the next thing, last thing to do is to put the me pot mechanism on. And um, this is the part I don't really enjoy, but hey ho, we'll get it done. We get instructions. Place the washer, the wash over the clock mechanism. Right. So then I've got to place this on here. Hold on. Let's just do it this way. Got to do that and then do that. I need to make sure that that is like that. I think I need to get a pair of pliers. She says, well done. There we go. So that goes on like that. Push the hour hand on, which is that one. That's the hour hand. So that goes on. Hold on, it's got uh, stuff on it, I think. Oh, should I use them? I might use them because they're quite, it's quite, there we go. That's the hour hand. <coughs> Push the minute hand on, which is this one. got that one. And there for another clock. I'll just put them to one side so we don't lose them. And there is my clock, my first altered art project done for May. How good is that? I'm really chuffed how that's turned out. So I, I will tighten the nut up on that and I will then um, 
this will go on I've set up um, a Facebook page where I'm selling my artwork I'll put the link below and uh, this will actually go on for sale um, so um, thank you so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed um, and I'll see you next time for my second project in my altered art series for May until next time happy crafting bye bye